Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your fifth CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about external style sheets and how we can use them to go about styling our HTML pages, uh, as well as how external style sheets actually keep CSS and HTML separate and therefore more organized. Uh, and another advantage is that with external style sheets, we can actually apply the same styles to more than one web page by including the style sheet in all the web pages that we want to use. So let's say, for example, we have a um, a web page for a company that has an about page, a services page, a contact page, uh, maybe a, serv a news page or something like that, we can actually include the external style sheet in all four or five of those pages, um, therefore preventing us from having to write the code multiple times, uh, and also gives us a little bit of a benefit that we don't have to actually worry about making any errors, uh, and all errors will be made once within one style sheet. So uh, those are some of the advantages to external style sheets. Many people actually prefer writing them externally. Um, and I'll just show you why in a couple minutes, but uh, let's just go over what we have in front of us here. Uh, we have a basic web page that has two divs. Uh, this div up the top is uh, called header. It has a class of header, rather. And the div down here has a class of content underscore area. And I chose to use a class because if we included the style sheet uh, in more web pages, and when each web page had their own header, we could just apply the same styles there, and the same for the content area. Um, so let's actually go into the code here and see what's going on. You'll notice that within our index.html page, uh, we have just basic HTML code. There's no CSS whatsoever uh, within this page. All the CSS is kept in a step separate style sheet called CSS. Uh, stylesheet.css, rather, and it just contains um, the two classes that we uh, mentioned before. And we actually included the style sheet in the header of our HTML document uh, right up here, and we'll learn how to do that in a second. So, uh, right here, let's talk about our divs right here. We, our first div uh, for our header is actually right here and it has a class again of header uh, and then it's just the text that we're using and again the second div down here with the class of content underscore area just contains any content I only added one line of text for an example but uh, in a regular web page you'd probably have a lot more content maybe nested divs uh, something like that so uh, let's actually take a look at our CSS code now uh, so for the header we only have three lines of CSS um, which is the border I added the black uh, border uh, which is solid in one pixel in width and I added a width of the div to be 600 pixels so it uh, fits nicely and it's nice and centered here as I use the margin um, margin property. So uh, the content area is also uh, 600 pixels wide, uh, but I added some height to this to make it a little bit bigger to show you that you can actually put content in here. Uh, so I made it 300 pixels tall as well. And I just centered it using the uh, zero pixels auto uh, property of the for the margin. So. Um, let's actually go ahead and actually learn how to include our style sheet. So let's get rid of our HTML codes. We'll delete that and save. And we'll also blank out our style sheet and save. Uh, so let's refresh and you notice that everything's blank. Uh, so let's actually get into coding our, in, our index.html page. So we'll first create some HTML boilerplate here. And we'll create a header. And then we'll come down and add a body. All right, so now that we have a basic shell of an HTML web page, uh, let's go in and add our title. And we'll say CSS Tutorial 5 External Style Sheets. So if we save and come over here, you'll notice there are titles there. It's added. It looks nice. Um, so let's go ahead and create our two divs. Our first div is going to have a class of header, just to keep it simple. And again, since we're using a class, because if we had more than one web page, uh, we could just give the the header, and each web page has its own header, we could say uh, class equals header for all of those headers. And since we're using an external style sheet, we'd only have to write the header code once over here. And every header on every page would look pretty much the same. So if we come over here and we end that div, uh, we'll go ahead now and create our next div. So div class equals, and we'll end that there. So in our class, what we're going to do uh, for this one is we're going to call this content underscore area. And again, we're using a class because if we have multiple pages um, and each page has a content area or each page has more than one content area, uh, we just write the code once and we can just include that in all of those content areas. And this also prevents us from having to write the code more than once with IDs or something like that. Uh, it's just a little bit easier um, and prevents from having to write things more than, more than once. So uh, let's come over here, save and refresh. So you'll notice that here we have nothing on the web page, uh, but if we go to the Google's Element Inspector in Chrome, you'll notice that we have these divs do exist. Um, th there's nothing inside of them, um, so we can't really see them. So let's come over here and actually put some text in it. So for our header div, we're going to add a h1 tag, 
we can close that there. And within the H1 tag, we're just going to say CSS tutorial 5. So we'll save that, come over here and refresh. Oop, let's get out of Element Inspector. Uh, so we have CSS tutorial 5. It's in a div, but yet we can't see the div. So let's go down here, and we're going to add some more to the content area, and then we'll go about styling the divs. So for here, we're going to say uh, P for paragraph, and we're just going to say here's where you can add some content to your web page. So we'll save that. Uh, actually, we'll indent that first, then we'll save. And then we'll come over here, and we'll see that we have the text, basically the text that we had in the beginning, uh, minus a uh, little extra up here. And it's not styled right now, so it's pretty boring. So let's go into our CSS page, and we'll start styling it. So for our header uh, div, which has the class of header, we're going to use our class selector, which just means we put a dot and then the name of the, uh, the class that we're going to be using. So dot header and we're going to open up a code block using a set of curly braces so that means anything within here uh, is going to be our CSS property so well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this a border so we'll say border colon uh, we're going to make this one pixel and solid and we're going to make it black so if we save this and come over you'll notice that since we haven't included our CSS document within our HTML page nothing's happened so let's go ahead right now and actually include this so if, what we're going to do to include this is we're going to come into our header of our HTML page uh, and we're just going to use a new tag that we haven't really talked about before uh, and that is the link tag. Uh, it only consists of one tag and there's no opening and there's no closing tag rather, it's just an opening tag. Uh, so I'm just going to add a slash there. And this tag takes actually three attributes. So our first attribute that we're going to use is rel and uh, that just we're just going to put it in their style sheet. Our second attribute is href which if you remember from our HTML a hyperlink tutorial, href just basically means the area that, or the page that we're going to be pointing to. So we're going to be pointing to this stylesheet.css uh, and href actually stands for hypertext reference, so we're referencing stylesheet.css and uh, you can use URLs if you want to if you have your stylesheet on someone else's server uh, or a different server, um, but since this is in the same directory we're just going to call it using stylesheet.css. Uh, you could also use the dot slash method um, of doing this, but since it's not in a different directory, we can do this for simplicity. Uh, and our last attribute is going to be type, which is text slash CSS. So if we save this and we come back to our page and refresh, you'll notice that our border appears, and that's because we included our style sheet. So uh, all three lines of code that we have here are now included within this HTML document, uh, and it's in the header. And this is why sometimes people like to use external style sheets over internal CSS. Um, it's because it just makes things a little bit neater. You don't have to worry about writing all your code within the head uh, or inline even, and it just stays separate. So you can include your style sheet on other pages and stuff like that. So let's uh, continue styling our, our uh, web page here. So we have this. We have a border, but let's actually give this a shorter width, and we'll just center it a little bit. So we'll say width equals, uh, I'll say 600 pixels, and we're going to center it using our margin property and we're going to say zero pixels auto. So if we save, you'll notice that now we have this, but uh, let's just center our text using some center tags within the div uh, on our HTML page. And we'll just close the center. So if we save that, you'll notice that now it's centered, it looks nice. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing over here, we're just going to center this in advance this time. And we're just going to indent this in just to keep it um, a little bit neater. So if we refresh, you'll notice that this is centered, but we want to put a border around it. So we're going to reference our content area class within our CSS style sheet by using our dot selector, and we're going to say content underscore area. And we'll open up a code block, and now we're going to give it a border. So border colon, uh, we're going to say one pixel dashed and green. So let's save this, come over here and refresh. You notice that now we do have a, a border to our div, but it's too close to the top. So we'll, uh, let's first off give this a width of 600 pixels, and then we're going to give it a margin for the top. So we'll say width 600 pixels, and we're going to say margin top. Uh, we'll say 30 pixels of space. So this is going to give our top, uh, the top of this div, a margin. So it's going to space anything above this div uh, 30 pixels away. So we'll uh, let's refresh. Oop, I'm going to save the style sheet first. And now it's, it put it 30 pixels away, so this gives us a nice spacing. And we're going to use the margin uh, 0 pixels auto as well to uh, separate this out and, and center it. So margin 0 pixels auto. So let's save and refresh. And you'll notice that now it's centered. 
Uh, and there's a problem there. We actually need to put this below. We're going to center it first, and then we're going to go back in and add the top. So margin top, uh, 30 pixels. And there we go. That fixes that problem. So now what we want to do is we want to give this a little bit of a height just to make it look like we have some more content area. So we're going to give it a height up here of 300 pixels. So if we save, come over and refresh, you'll notice that now it looks similar to how we were when we started the tutorial. Um, and this is basically how we can go about styling uh, HTML web pages using CSS uh, from an external style sheet. So let's just recap. We created two divs, a div with the class of header and a div with the class of content area. Uh, so the header and content area there. And we went ahead and styled these header and content area divs, which were classes, because if we wanted to include our, our classes within multiple HTML documents, we could do so because we have an external style sheet uh, that we can include in any page using the link uh, element within HTML. And to do that, we just say link, and we give three attributes of rel, href, and type, um, with the rel being style sheet, uh, the hypertext reference being uh, the name of the CSS document, which we call stylesheet.css. And again, since it's in the same directory, we don't need to uh, reference it using a different directory structure, so uh, we don't need to basically go to different folders. And our type is text slash CSS. So then we went ahead and styled it using CSS here. And because this code was all included within our index.html page, um, it all appears here and makes it look like the way we wanted it. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to let me know. And uh, have a great day.